All right, today we're gonna to talk about the Insta360 1X 360 degree camera. Let's go. If this is your first time to the channel, click the subscribe button. Do me a favor, that really helps. If you've come back, thank you so much, and we're gonna have a good time today. The 360 degree camera comes in a little neoprene case like this with a lanyard that I won't ever wear. Um, but this little camera, this little camera is beautiful in its simplicity and it is an amazing feat of technology. And I'm gonna show you how I used it up in my visit to Apple Park uh, in the airport, the San Jose airport. So let's take a look at that right now. Alright, so top three things why I really like this camera and I didn't think I would. One, it's so small. It's so small you can just literally hide it in your hand right here and you wouldn't even know I have it. Now, even though it's small, that's not the only thing. It's also not visible or distracting when you're using it. So at one point I had the selfie stick, which comes with it, or I think it's an optional part of the kit, but I bought this at CES. And so this selfie stick allows you to hold this at your waist and put this like above a group or above um, so you can kind of capture what's behind you uh, without your body obstructing it. But I noticed, I saw somebody else's video footage of us as a group and I noticed that this camera was in the shot while I was recording a 360 degree uh, video, but it wasn't distracting. No one else could tell I had this camera unless they knew because I looked for it. I'm like, am I holding it? Yeah, is that when I was videoing? Yeah, it was. It was totally not distracting. So it's a really cool, small, low profile camera and um, it's not distracting to use. I had some people when I was walking through the airplane ask me what it was. Uh, 360 camera? Oh! Yeah. So it films uh, all angles and then you choose later which one you want. <laughs> It's my first time using it, so I'm like, oh, as well, might as well test it out. And so that was an interesting conversation, um, but it wasn't distracting or um, it's not obtrusive. It doesn't feel like it's uh, scary or puts people out. Um, so selfie stick is a must to use with it. Um, small size is definitely um, the key because I had this in my backpack and this and I had other camera gear like the EOS R. By the way, I'm filming on the EOS R so I'm curious how that turns out. Uh, this is 1080p so we're going to get a look at that video footage. Uh, this is a neutral uh, profile. I'm going to try C-Log later. Maybe do a video on that if I feel comfortable enough. Uh, but right now, number one thing about the Insta360 is it is small. It fits in your hand. You can hide it <laughs> and you can take it anywhere. It's very convenient. All right, the second thing I really like about it is it allows you to video yourself in situations where you're not usually able to. And I've heard this on other YouTubers channels, but it's true. I literally walked out of the plane videoing myself making progress out of the plane and then in the editing suite, you can just flip it around and catch the opposite way, the plane behind you or coming down the escalator. You can actually go down the escalator from that point of view and then whip around in the editing and show that you're actually stepping off the escalator um, so the camera's out in front of you uh, looking backwards. And that's so amazing just to make those editing choices later and not have to think about, yeah, what is the, the best position for my camera right now. So it allows some flexibility in these um, 
quick moments where you're traveling or you're vlogging or you're doing something and you want to capture it, but you don't want all of your attention and focus and effort to go to where your camera is. So it allows for some ease of use for that. All right, another thing I like about this camera is it has a couple of different modes in the photo mode. There's an HDR mode, um, which you have to have a tripod to do that um, because it stitches together multiple pictures. It also has a self timer mode, highly, highly useful when you're trying to take a picture of yourself. And I haven't mastered those yet, but I like those two modes. And then the video mode. So you have like a 5.7K at, um, uh, 50 frames per second and like 24 frames per second and you also have 3k at 100 frames per second so you got the opportunity for some really cool slow motion footage and in fact I, I saw one youtuber do this um, I think it was Maddie and he had the selfie stick behind him or maybe Peter McKinnon was relaying the story he had the selfie stick behind him and so he's videoing himself walk so it's that typical shot where you're having the camera follow but you're actually following yourself and in slow motion, it looked buttery smooth. So here's a clip of that. Stabilization, the Insta360 ONE X at least, that's the really the only 360 camera I've used so far. Um, it's All right, so it's really cool. It's really cool. It's small, it comes with the selfie stick, which is a must. It allows you to capture moments you couldn't normally capture. That's the best thing ever, to be able to do a video selfie and watch yourself in progress not a stationary tripod shot, but in motion, that's the best thing ever. And then the third thing is the photo modes and the video modes, and there's an interval mode, I forgot that. So I have to, uh, I assume that's for like a time-lapse type of sequence, and so I have to try that. And I will report back probably more on the HDR and the interval mode and a little more on the slow motion. And I expect this to be in my bag of tricks. I really like it. I'm gonna keep it around. It's easy to keep around and it's handy to have. All right, until next time, thanks for joining us. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel, I hope you love it. Leave me feedback, comments. I would love for you to join me on this journey with the Canon EOS R and the rest of my freelance photography, uh, drone cinematography, and more.